It's now 9.48 a.m. and I am uh, at the Southwest ticket counter waiting for manager Mr. Dunn to get me the names and contact information for the people at the corporate office who re uh, denied me boarding, refused to grant my uh, mask exception. The employees at Southwest and TSA, like I've said, have been all very cooperative. But it is outrageous to be... No, I don't wear a mask. I don't wear a mask. No, I don't. Um, I've already spoken to the manager, Mr. Dunn. He's working with me on that issue now. Yeah, Lucas Wall. Lucas Wall. W-A-L-L? Correct. So Hi. this is for Carlos. That's okay. His business card. All right, great. This is Anita. She's one of our supervisors. Okay. And there's my business card. Okay, great. And then uh, our director. And this is the sign at the Southwest ticket counter indicating that we are requiring face coverings for customers and employees. And they don't mention anything about exemptions for people with disabilities who cannot tolerate wearing a face mask. So right now I'm just waiting for a final uh, contact for the person at Southwest headquarters in Dallas who refused to let me board my flight without a mask. It's 9.56. Uh, I've completed uh, going through all the procedures with TSA and Southwest. The airport authority representative did say because I have a medical issue that I can wander the airport without a mask. I'm going to walk around and get some video and take some pictures of uh, all the signage and so forth requiring masks under the federal transportation mask mandate, which I contend is illegal and unconstitutional. And now that I've been denied boarding, I have the legal standing to bring a federal lawsuit challenging these actions today. Yes. No, I won't. Um, did you speak to somebody or did you have a Yes, I spoke to a representative from the Orlando Airport Authority who said I do not need a mask because I have a valid medical disability. Okay. Well, thank you. Then you make sure you show that to uh, one of our agents when you're going to... Well, I've already been denied boarding, so that's why I'm taking the video for evidence. Thank you. So that's the third time uh, that Southwest agent has pestered me about covering my face. All right, I'm gonna wander down to some of the other airline counters and see if I get harassed there as well. Nope, I refuse to wear one. Yes, I can. No, no, you can't, sir. I sure can. Um, so I just got harassed by a Spirit Airlines employee telling me I can't be on airport property without a mask. Uh, the time is 10.41 a.m. It's been about an hour since Southwest denied me boarding uh, for my flight to Fort Lauderdale. And I have just been kind of wandering around the terminal looking uh, at the various airline check-in counters to see what kind of signage they have about face masks. I'd say about 70 to 80 percent of airlines have some kind of signage about the mask requirement at the check-in counter, but the other uh, 20 to 30 percent uh, do not have any 
uh, indications of that. Hey, No Mask Mafia. Oh, that gentleman didn't want to give me a high five. Even though he's one of the few people that I've seen here bareface. So that gentleman from Spirit was the first person to uh, harass me about wearing a mask in the terminal. I've been walking around, like I said, for about an hour without incident. So everything's pretty much wrapped out here. I'm now going to go to try to board a Lynx Orlando bus without a mask and see how they take that since the federal transportation mask requirement applies to public transportation agencies, including buses, trains, ferries, etc. even those who do not uh, ever cross state lines. And that'll be, be part of my legal argument that the 10th Amendment does not permit anyone, the federal government, from implementing an executive order that impacts agencies that operate solely within one state. There is no interstate commerce that is permitted. It's really surreal to see all of these mass people in line and we've even got kids wearing face shields. It's just so sad. And somebody has got to challenge this illegal and unconstitutional exercise of federal authority. Okay, let's go find the bus. I gotta go downstairs, I think.